In the face of the economic downturn, you have to ask yourself the question, what's going to happen to green buildings when commercial real estate is going down, when home building is going down? What I have found in my research is it's accelerating. All through 2008, the numbers keep going up and up, 80% growth this year. Green homes are the best marketing vehicle right now for home builders. Across the country, across the U.S. and Canada, we're finding new green home developments are going forward, people are buying them, and it's convincing builders to offer this type of product. In the commercial building arena, green is one of the few differentiators. For example, we now have hard data that Energy Star and LEED green buildings get higher rents, greater occupancy, and better resale value even in the face of an economic downturn. This is enough of a business case to convince the most hard-headed person to go in this direction. And I'm actually standing here in the California Academy of Sciences new LEED Platinum building designed by Italian architect Renzo Piano and it's a delightful daylit fresh air place built within a conventional budget. That's what we've learned how to do. Build green without breaking the budget. That will guarantee the future of green buildings. A good example in New York City, the Bank of America Tower is opening this year. It's also a lead platinum building. It's got two million square feet of space, two billion dollars of cost, and it's met the highest green standards as well as the highest commercial standards. That indicates you can do it in any type of building. We have so many positive factors pushing green buildings forward. First of all, we have lots of momentum. We have over 16,000 green building projects, large projects averaging $15 million going forward in the U.S. We have green homes, or 20,000 green homes were built last year. We have 900 mayors that have signed the U.S. Conference of Mayors Climate Change Commitment to build green with their own cities. We have major cities like Los Angeles, San Francisco, San Jose, Dallas, Boston, Washington, which have all mandated green buildings in the private sector. We have hospitals, hotels, shopping centers, and other commercial establishments just coming up to the starting line for green. Whereas we've been doing it with office buildings, museums like this one, we're now seeing the hardcore commercial sector come forward. And it's because companies want to be green. Companies want to have a story to tell about their buildings, and that's driving this forward. I see continued growth, probably about 75% growth in new green building projects. I also see tremendous growth in existing buildings. We have a whole rating system for existing buildings, how they're operated, how much energy they use, how much water they use. That is the fastest growing program in the whole green building universe. So people who run facilities, people who operate large amounts of commercial buildings are seeing green as a branding opportunity, as a market differentiator, and as a value add for their own properties.